<laughs> Mucky pup. Go down. We're down. Right, I can see plenty of driftwood already, which is good. Whew, made it down. That'll put airs on your tether. I'll go wash my hand. Uh, I'm down for a bit of um, spring low tide foraging, just to see what I can find when the tide goes out at its lowest. See if we can get some velvet crabs. I mean, fingers crossed for a brown crab or a lobster, but that's a it's a it's a rarity around these parts but there are certain things that I know I'll get like periwinkles and limpets and seaweed and I reckon I pre I pretty much guaranteed a velvet crab as well so I'm just gonna wait till the tide goes out and then I'm gonna follow it out so I'm gonna get around where I need to get to wash my digits <laughs> and then I'm just gonna follow the tide out and see what I can find use some of this driftwood to get a little fire going and cook what we can cook what we can forage on this glorious day nice little find that a lovely a lovely piece of jet which is yeah, there. it's fossilized monkey puzzle trees which used to grow all along this coast and it's some of the best jet quality jet in the world uh, not to be mistaken with coal uh, there are a few ways that you can tell I mean I used to collect this as a lad quite a lot so I know just instinctively but if I can get a grey rock I'll show you yeah, so coal. When you when you when you rub coal, it is it goes it goes jet black. Whereas jet, ironically, doesn't go jet black. It goes a. Uh, can you see? See there, it goes sort of a leathery brown. A leathery brown sort of muddy colour, and that's how you know you've got some jet. So we'll pocket that. Take it home. Nice little treasure. Semi-precious stone. But precious to me. This is what I use for uh, just having a rake under them hard to reach places, see if you can get some out. And it's just um, a paint roller. I've just, it's an old paint roller. I just took off the uh, rolly, fluffy shaft. <laughs> and uh, you're left with this look. Don't rust, handle on it, perfect. Top tip for all you foragers and spear fishermen out there. We'll get that out now anyway and have a go with it. <coughs> Optimistic net. This is an old pool net I found in a skip for uh, back, your back garden, but it's telescopic and this folds out and it's perfect for rock pooling for um, little shrimps, prawns, whatever, whatever you want to call them. So I might deploy that later, if we get a chance. Right, I've stripped some 
some bark off that uh, dead tree back there which I'm assuming is red cedar judging by the by the bark and by the uh, stringiness of it it's a little bit damp but maybe if we can get a decent ember I can uh, do something with it fluff it up a little bit certainly worth a shot Need to replenish my charting already. Must remember. Right. Find a decent edge. Here we are. It's a bit windy, which could uh, work in my favour. Right, give it a few wallops. And hopefully. There we go. Ooh, get it in there quick. <laughs> See what we can do. wind can do a lot of it look there we go we've got fire <laughs> yeah <laughs> ow right Instead of bush box, there's enough wood kicking about. Let's see if we can transfer it without losing it. <laughs> Made a little thing there, that's good. Yes. Ooh. Back in fire, that won't take too long. Oh, spilling it everywhere. Uh, leave that there. Earth and 
Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. Oh. Bang it on this stone for now. So in here I've just got some broccoli, some peas, and a bit of butter with lemon and garlic. Ideal. There you go, a little banquet of surf and turf. A medley of greens cooked in butter with lemon and garlic. Not bad. I get chucked into a few of these limpets. It's always best to discard, well always I do anyway, just discard this black bit, the cack sack as we call it. Easy to discard and throw away, and then you're just left with the meat. It's a little sucker. Mmm. Oh. Delicious. Mmm. And top tip, for you that don't know, oh, hold on. Oh. And get a claw. Oh, mate. In my opinion, better than lobster, velvet crab. Take its little hat off and use the claw from your from your velvet. These are me well. They're definitely a labour of love. I don't go on, go on boy, get it. Definitely a labour of love these things, mate. But they're beautiful. So nice. They bring back all my memories. Decent sized claw. They don't get much, much bigger than that. So sweet. Oh, mate. Let's crack it up, not rock. Get some meat out of it. Oh, look at that. Oh, mate. Hmm. <laughs> so tasty. Got some steak as well. Surf and turf. <laughs> oh, mate. That's cooked lovely. Mmm. Got some greens, peas, broccoli, runner beans. Done in like a lemon and herb butter, lovely. Mm. Self isolation at its best.
Um, I would just like to say for the record, if you if anyone's having fires on the beach, dig down quite deep, and then once you're done, please just put water on it, plenty of water on it. It's okay here because this is a secluded beach and it's about to be uh, landlocked. It's about to be locked off by the tide and the tide will come in and wash that over as well as the fact that I've dug down deep and, and put water on it and spread everything about because the stones in the, in the sand can heat up and you could ju if you just chuck sand over it, people can come walking along, foot can go through the sand into the hot rocks and it can cause really bad burns. Um, I've seen it. It's terrible. So, just because you're on the beach, it doesn't mean you can you, you, that you you can be a bit lacklustre. You still got to leave no trace and and make an effort, even more of an effort, just to make sure you don't leave loads of hot rocks everywhere. <laughs> right. Speaking of leaving stuff everywhere, there's quite a lot of plastic bottles and stuff just dotted around here. So, I've got a bag with me. I'm going to fill that up with as much crap as I can find. Uh, and then I might run to that, there's a waterfall over there, I might run to that and have a quick dip and then, and then get off. There we go, look, got a bag full. A bag full of plaggy bottles there. Oh, whoa! Put the bag down and just look at that! This is... That has got to be karma, that, hasn't it? That has got to be karma. Filled a bag full of uh, plastic to take out with me, find a hammer and a, look at that, beautiful ammonite, all cleaned off, look. <laughs> Cheers Noel, ledge, thank you. <laughs> hey, spot on, absolutely spot on. Shall I go dunking waterfall for, giggle, might be dangerous though, it looks dangerous, things might fall in onto me. Oh, let's do it anyway. Come on. It's been one of them days, mate. It's got to end in waterfall, hasn't it? Look at that. I'm buzzing about that. <laughs> and my jet. I've got jet and a fossil. Yes, mate. Look. Right. Let's do one of these. Let's fast track it to the waterfall. <sighs> there we are. A little cave, look. Well. <sighs> Looks all right. Looks all right, doesn't it? Right. Oh, it's right. I'm doing it as the sun goes down. <laughs> I don't even have my speedos on. I'm just going to go in in undies, <laughs> old school. <laughs> right, old school in undies. Ready? Let's go. Oh, on GP as well, on GoPro. Oh, mate, it, it's real cold, mate. <laughs> I'm excited, mate. Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh, mate, couldn't handle it. It's too much of an headache on it. Oh. <laughs> that is brutal, mate. Let's go in again. One more. Ah. Woo. Woo. Oh. <laughs> that'll do mate, that'll do. Come on. Oh, that'll ding dang do. Let's go and have a look at ye old ye old sunset. Look at it. <laughs> oh yeah man, tide's coming in though so got to be uh, chill out with this one. Beautiful though, <laughs> I'm well happy look. Beautiful end to a beautiful day. Oh 
mate, I could cry. I could cry. <laughs> right. Get my clothes on and try and get it back up them ropes with me uh, plaggy bag full of plaggy ba uh, bottles. <laughs> What a wonderful day that was. Um, I'd just like to thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed it at all, do us a, if you, you know, you could do us a favour and just hit the like button. Uh, that, that helps, mate. And uh, as I said before, it's just a, just press it with your finger. If you've not subscribed already and you, you like what you see, then just subs hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you can get notified when I upload again. The usual shizzle, mate. The usual shizzle. Ah, got my bag full of plaggy. Full belly. Quality memories. I'm out. Take care of each other. And most importantly, take care of yourselves. Au revoir. Don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. Love you, bye.